kind of testing the limits of the phone today, see how much video can record at a time. And, uh, I don't know, probably how long the battery's going to last, too. Uh, <laughs> uh, my co-worker, Marcella, gave me this, uh, vent clip and vent clip phone holder uh, thing. So thank you, Marcella. <laughs> Uh, I guess uh, it was free. She wasn't getting any use out of it. She said, here, take this. Uh, uh, I can say this. Uh, I definitely will get some use out of it. So, again, thank you. Uh, but uh, it also means I'll occasionally be... Uh, recording and sharing just these these rambling speeches and thoughts that I have on my way to work from uh, to work from work or whatever it's seven in the morning I'm really tired right now <laughs> yeah so I'll occasionally be uh, sharing shit like this, so, you know, l l look at the horror you've unleashed on the world, Marcella. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, nobody wants to fucking hear what I have to say, <laughs> but I don't care. I'll post it. You don't want to, uh, you know, you, you don't care, then don't watch it. Uh, I don't think very many people will. Uh, I'm I'm not bothered by that. Aye. Just fucking fucking exhausted this morning. This I don't think I'm probably going to be sharing this one anyway. Uh, because right now I'm, I'm just testing the uh, capabilities of my phone. See how long it will record. This, uh, I mean, everything I post is going to be boring. This is going to be especially boring. It's going to be mostly nothing. I was saying, I posted a uh, live journal entry yesterday about thoughts I had on my way home from work about uh, you know how all I hear at this point uh, all the time fucking ask 90% of the fucking internet and so many people have decided that, that you know what the problem is with this country Anytime you hear that, get ready for a, uh, a devastatingly simple, uh, what, what am I, yeah, I guess I should have used the word simple because we want to call it an oversimplification and that's kind of redundant. Just an astonishing oversimplification and usually something that is incorrect. It's no different in this case. Uh, according to these people, you know, you know what the real problem with this country is? Everyone's just too easily offended these days. Everybody is, they're just, they're just so offended by everything. They're such little, precious little snowflakes. Just running around getting offended. God damn it. I'm offended by how offended they are. Um... And to that, and if you, if by some odd chance you've already read the live journal entry, then this is just all going to be a repeat, essentially, of whatever I can remember from it, which at 7 in the morning, I guarantee you, is not going to be much. Uh, and again, I'm, I'm about to rant here, and a lot of people are going to think, like, holy shit, because I'm so quiet, and I'm so calm. And I don't want to frighten anyone that, that think that, uh, like, dear God, he's finally snapped. Um, 
it's mostly an act. This is funnier uh, if I'm raging. I mean, you know, tell me it's not true. It's, it's still boring, but it's less boring if I'm, like, yelling. So, you know, don't think I've come unhinged all of a sudden. Uh, <clears throat> so anyway, to the argument that, that everyone's, uh, all offended these days, everyone's, everyone's just too easily offended by everything. All I can say to that is, um, the fuck country have you been living in? Uh, people have always been offended by ridiculous bullshit. <clears throat> you, you realize we can't say the word fuck on television, right? And we've never been able to. And stupider shit than that has been censored. Uh, at one point, the word you, they, they couldn't say the word pregnant. Uh, when fucking Elvis used to dance, they could only uh, film him from the waist up fucking toilets. You used to not be able to show a toilet on television uh, because people found it offensive. Uh, you know, and I, for one, am actually encouraged to see that people are getting offended <clears throat> by shit that's actually doing some harm. I would rather see people get offended uh, because of comments that are racist or uh, or homophobic or insensitive to say, like transgendered in individuals. I guess is a big thing now. Um, I would rather see people get offended by that than by by um, someone said a dirty word or oh my god is that a nipple I mean come on you, you can't tell me don't tell me you don't remember uh, the, the hysteria over Janet Jackson's fucking tit and, and tell me that was more reasonable than anything everyone's getting all offended by these days people have always uh, there have always been people who lost their shit over something fucking stupid and it's it's uh, the, the implication always seems to be that it's just liberals which is ridiculous uh, and liberals get offended over uh, more legitimate shit that, that there's actually a good reason to be offended by even if, again, some of them do go too far. I know that. Uh, some people do get offended too easily. But at least it's connected to some legitimate shit that, you know, that there's, there's a decent reason to be offended by. <clears throat> uh... You know an example of conservatives getting offended? Uh, have you heard of the group One Million Moms? Holy shit! If you want to talk about fascists, these people, uh, these fucking idiots, I hate that group. They're, they're among the worst examples of humanity uh, because they can be set off by anything. Uh, vague reference to, to profanity. It doesn't even have to be profanity. Real profanity makes their heads explode. Uh, just a vague reference to profanity. Uh, the, like, uh, you know, the fucking Jesus Christmas. Uh, Mother Flower. That, that one's for you, Marcella. Mother Flower. They, they can be pissed off by that because they'd see it and go, you know he meant to say fuck. 
and that's inappropriate because 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 what the whole reason we come up with shit like that the whole reason people came up with shit like that is because it was considered offensive to to swear uh around children and you want to you 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 we people came up with substitutes personally i don't give a fuck um because no child has ever been damaged by hearing a curse word um we you know, people came up with substitutes that they could say around children like like mother flower for example or whatever you want to say uh and, and they get offended by that and they go holy shit that's inappropriate because what they meant to say was fuck well no shit Yes, I meant to say fuck, but that's the whole point. The kids aren't going to know what you're saying if they don't already know the word. If they already know the word, then why are you pissed off that they're saying it? If your kid knows the word fuck, then you said fuck around your kid. If they're making the connection, then what you think is, is wrong was already done. Um, so that's bullshit. But it gets worse. They, they get pissed off because they're Christians and they see something on TV uh, making fun of Christianity. They'll get pissed off by that. Or these people were a fucking riot to watch during the whole, uh, the whole gay marriage debate. Because anytime an individual or organization dared, dared to show support for the LGBT community dared to show support for gay marriage, they flip their shit. And it's what they do when they find something, uh, when they, they're offended by something, is they'll, they'll launch an email harassment campaign, which is pathetic, but the, the it, it's the thought behind it launch an email harassment campaign against the people responsible for whatever offended them and demand that it be removed that it can't remain because they, they find it inappropriate you know there are a million people there are millions of people in the world who will see something that they don't like and just not watch it no, not these people. These people, uh, I don't like this, so it needs to be removed. Nobody can see it. They're fucking, they, they have the mindset of dictators. Each and every one of them, fascists. Um, and, no, you know, like, they haven't resorted to violence. Uh, because they couldn't. It would be over in a matter of seconds. Because these um, are not capable human beings. These are uh, bored, brainless, middle-class housewives who need to feel important but are good at absolutely nothing except bitching. They need a crusade that they can launch and execute in its entirety with a glass of wine in one hand. Coming up on a pain in the ass red light here with the sun shining in my face, so... I always hate this one. It's this light, it's no other one. It's just the positioning, the sun is right there. I kind of have to like glance through my window... Uh, because if I'm looking at the light, then I'm looking right at the sun. Which apparently is okay, because during the solar eclipse, our brilliant president did it. Um, <laughs> where was I? Yeah, the, the, one million mobs. They're the most pathetic fascists ever, but they are fascists in a much more meaningful sense than uh, any social justice warrior that anyone out there has ever accused of being a fascist. And they're overwhelmingly conservative. My, my point is, um, it's not, it by no means is it just liberals. And when liberals get pissed off about something, at least they have a decent reason to be pissed off about it. 
This is just stupid shit. This is the exact, it, what they get pissed off is like the exact opposite of what liberals get pissed off about. Liberals get pissed off because uh, people are being persecuted. People are being um, deprived of their rights. Or at the very least, uh, there's some connection to that by whatever they're being offended by. Uh, these idiots get pissed off because people are supporting equality. They, they thought they insisted um, during the gay marriage debate, they insisted that, that this was part of a culture war. And that was their reasoning for, you know, like uh, uh, fucking Nabisco, I think at one point, had like an ad for, uh, they had like Rainbow Oreo or something, I don't fucking remember. Um, and yeah, I, I saw they were pissed off about it. And they said, <laughs> make sure you, uh, so everyone you know, who, who supports them, they said, uh, everyone email Nabisco and demand that they stay neutral in the culture war. Like, fuck you, culture war. When your culture, if, if the culture you're talking about is defined by persecuting what you perceive as another culture, then your culture is shit. Of course it is. You're one million moms. Your culture is, you're, you are shit idiots stupid as fucking most useless people on the planet and what I'm about to say I don't mean to sound sexist um this is directed not at not at women in general this is directed specifically at the types of women who engage in that kind of bullshit I feel bad for your husbands for having to put up with you and frankly uh, as a sign of gratitude the next time you you get the opportunity uh, you should probably get down on your knees and use your mouth for the one thing it's ever been good for uh, yeah <laughs> I just said that Anyway, <clears throat> back to the topic of, of finding things offensive. Um, the last point, hey, I actually remembered, I think, the entire live journal entry. I think I've almost, uh, I haven't quoted it verbatim. I've added some things and changed some words. Be It would really be something if I could quote it word for word. Um... <clears throat> last point is that it all depends on the kind of expression uh, allegedly being suppressed uh, again because um, for example desecrate a flag or sit during the national anthem and, and now who's offended and, and the people who are the most offended by that <clears throat> The people who are the most offended by that, I guarantee you, are the same people who were um, talking about the rights of the white nationalists in Charlottesville uh, because they claimed that was, was a matter of free speech, which is a, a incredibly ironic. Um, because I can't think of a more effective way to disrespect the country and its veterans than to roll out the red carpet for Nazis. Um, it, 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 there are no words. that we, we fought a war and people died uh, to basically to oversimplify this to the, to the point of being ridiculous to make the point that Nazis are bad 
um, really, if the point of your argument is ever let the Nazis march, you need to sit the fuck down and reconsider your argument. Oi. Yeah, yeah, don't, uh, don't step on a flag or, um, and make sure you stand during the national anthem because, uh, if you don't, that's disrespectful and I find it offensive. Uh, but Nazis, sure, go ahead. Uh, have your march. I give up. I, I, I can't at this point. I don't know what to say. Uh, I, I actually impressed myself uh, because I, I considered doing this, having this up, doing a test run, um, and I thought <clears throat> that I was going to be too tired. I kind of, I woke up this morning, I thought, should I do this? And I kind of, I went, uh, fuck it. Uh because I have no energy today. And about 10 minutes into the drive to work, I found it. I found the energy to do it. So what are we, we're about 20 minutes, 21 minutes, going on 22, into this, which is excellent. Uh, that's, that's really ideal. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. I'll see how much of my battery is left. I'll see how much of the phone's memory this video is using up. And uh, then we'll see. And I may occasionally uh, do one of these monologues and post it to, uh, to YouTube or whatever. So take care, everyone.